I uh, welcome you to this morning's presentation. Uh, we have uh, some gentlemen and uh, a lady from the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club that uh, Dr. Young will be introducing uh, to all of you. And they're going to do a presentation this morning that I think you'll find very interesting. It's particularly valuable uh, what they're doing uh, because, as you know, fourth grade students, as part of your sci study of science, study rocks and minerals. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And they are from the Rocks and Mineral Club and are going to be doing a presentation today. But first of all, I want to introduce, uh, and, 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 and he's a familiar face, uh, and that's Dr. Young, the superintendent of schools here in Hadley, who is going to introduce the members of the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club. Good morning, Dr. Young. Thank you, Mr. DiPietro. Good morning, boys and girls. I would also like to uh, compliment, you, compliment you on how well uh, behaved you are and how well behaved you were in coming into this room. I want to thank your teachers for uh, continuing to provide you the guidance that uh, we all so desperately need. Um, this morning we're very fortunate to have with us the representatives from the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club. Uh, they're here to do a presentation of a mineral kit that will stay here at the elementary school to help all of you gain a better understanding of the various minerals and rocks that are out there uh, now. So it's part of our uh, rock and mineral unit um, as part of the curriculum, uh, but an opportunity for this club to interact with you this morning as well. Um, and to provide a wonderful service to schools um, all over. As I understand it, they're donating five such kits, if, I, if I'm correct in, in that understanding. So uh, this team will be working with elementary schools uh, all throughout the valley and uh, continue to uh, provide um, great assistance to schools. So I understand that we have, we have with us uh, four representatives um, from the uh, Connecticut Valley Mineral Club. I'd like to take a moment to introduce each member, starting with the president of the club, uh, Mr. Andy Broder. Uh, yep, right, right. Perfect. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce um, Mr. Fred Wilda, who, amongst other things, he's a familiar face. Uh, he's uh, hosted students. Is that our? I guess that's, I'm not sure that's us. I think that's the other system. Um, amongst other things, um, Mr. Wilda has hosted students up at his home for a number of years, uh, in past years. And he also, boys and girls, he was the one that painted the golden hawk on our Jim floor at Hopkins, on our last Jim floor, so part of the Hadley history. So uh, very talented, very talented. Uh, we have also uh, Mrs. Helen Rodak uh, with, with, her, uh, with us, and we have uh, Mr. Wayne Corwin, and we have a representative from the, uh, the press here to uh, take pictures and sort of uh, commemorate this morning's event. So amongst other things, I understand that there's going to be a mineral show um, in the end of March that I'm sure you'll be hearing about, and we want to certainly make you and your families aware of that. So really, with no further ado, I'm going to turn the mic over to the, member, to the members of the uh, Connecticut Valley uh, Mineral Club, and, and I want to offer my deepest appreciation and thanks for the volunteer work that you've done on behalf of the school district, and I certainly want to thank you for this mineral kit that we will enjoy for many years to come. So thank you. Thank you. Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing? All right. My name is Andy Broder. I'm the president of the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club. And our club has been in existence for 70 years. Um, we've always made uh, educating people about minerals a priority. And right now is no different. Um, for 70 years, the club's been meeting. And people with a passion for some of nature's finest handiwork have ventured out to different locations all over the state and the country in search of rocks, minerals, and fossils. Um, we aren't geologists, we're not scientists, we're regular working people, men and women, <clears throat> and uh, we have a love for all things mineral related. It's hard to explain the attraction we have to do this, but it is what we love to do, and with any luck, some of you may find an interest in them like we have. Um, the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club feels that as a responsibility to the community to pass on its knowledge and love of minerals to young people like yourselves. Uh, adults as well. Um, we educate a lot of adults that have never been interested in minerals before. Um, I've only been into this two years. Um, I've always liked rocks and never knew there was such interesting things that lived inside them. 
Um, as you begin to study geology and rocks and minerals in school, try and, rem try and remember it's more than just rocks and dirt. There's a whole new world available to you if you know what to look for and where to look for them. Uh, the minerals we've assembled in this case are all from Massachusetts, and with the exception of one, they're all local minerals within 20 miles of this school, and some are a lot closer. Um, there are hundreds of minerals in Massachusetts, and this is just a handful of them. Uh, we live in a very mineral-rich area, and there's no limit to the enjoyment you can get from them. So in your studies, take some time to open your mind, get acquainted with the wondrous things that dwell on the earth, and just like us, you'll be glad you did. Um, without a lot of other stuff, I'd like to introduce Fred Wilda. It was his idea to make this case and to donate them to schools. So I'll pass the mic over to Fred. Fred? Thank you and good morning to all of you. <clears throat> Some of you, of uh, you uh, children probably have met Helen and I somewhere in the past. Some may, may have even come to the House to see our collection. Uh, why did we do this? During our presentations to classes, fourth grade classes, our presentations and other members, we found one interesting thing. Not only did the children not know that we have state minerals, state fossils, state rocks, and, and that there's a mine in, in uh, East Hampton that is 300 years ago, old, a lead mine, and supplied the revolution with musket balls. Um, but a lot of the parents, a lot of the teachers, a lot of administrators didn't know that either. It isn't something they put in history books, in geology books that students read. So we thought we'd bring that awareness to the class, to the kids. Now this kit is not a tree of knowledge. It's a seed. And you can make it a tree of knowledge by doing more research, finding out more about minerals, both from Massachusetts and throughout the world, by studying. And that geology can be very interesting. Everything you touch, just about everything you touch today, your pencils, your computers, have something to do with natural resources from the earth, which is geology. So we hope that this kit will make you want to learn a little bit more about the world you live in. And we're glad to be able to present it to you. Thank you very much. One more thing, Doris. There is a booklet with, with the kit, and it explains a little about, about the minerals you see in the kit here. We have the state minerals, and uh, we have some other significant minerals in the kit. Yes, they have a question. The mine is in East Stanton. Most people that live there don't even know it's there. Uh, it doesn't look like a mine anymore. The mine is actually underground, the actual mine, and it's sealed up. You can't go in. But members of our club still go into what they call the dumps. The dumps are the part of the mine when they mine the ore. They took the rock they didn't need, and they threw it into, a, into piles. Into some, a lot of the hillsides you see are just filled with, with minerals that are there because of the lead that was in the ground at one time water inside but at one time it was an underground mine that went for quite a long ways about a mile i guess isn't that right Wayne? pretty close to a mile underground and another thing that that people uh are, aren't aware of ethan allen who was a famous uh patriot um during the revolutionary war at one time owned that mine so by just learning a little bit about geology Geology is very, very important to our, to our history and to our present and to our future. So it's a subject you want to really, really study. Any well, other thank questions, you. boys and girls? Well, again, on behalf of the Hadley Public Schools and the faculty and students here at the Hadley Elementary School, I'd like to, again, thank you, uh, the Connecticut Valley Mineral Club and the four of you for representing that group today and for making this generous donation of this kit that we will use for many, many years to come. So thank you for continuing the good work to inspire others to take a look at the importance of minerals and to get interested in this in, in important part of, of our sort of geography, if you will. So again, thank you very much, thank each you. one of you. How about a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen?